Joseph, my name is Andrew Amott. I'm okay. the co-founder and CEO of Strava Craft Coffee. We're a Denver, Colorado-based specialty coffee roaster. We've been in operation for four years. Uh, we're best known for our hemp oil, or CBD-infused coffees. And we're launching here in the UK with our partner, Drink Strava UK. They're gonna be bringing our, our fresh whole bean products and espresso compatible pods to the UK market. Those are gonna be available starting now um, across the UK. And as a specialty roaster, we've always taken immense pride in being a part of the coffee supply chain, getting to know um, all the participants from the farmers who originally inspired us, right up through the, the processing and the communities that, that bring coffee to the world. Uh, the dry mills in the, in the cities out there, and then importing really nice coffee that we enjoy drinking. China is the biggest exporter of CBD in the world. Right. Yeah, so, so China is a huge producer of, of, of the agricultural crop for hemp and the fibers as well as CBD. Uh, so China exports an immense amount of CBD. Um, we, we really do need to be ambassadors uh, to share with the world that, that hemp and CBD is not something to be feared. Um, it's, not a, it's not a drug which is a vice, there's no experiential element, it's, it's not psychoactive. It's really a component of health. And we want to be the first brand to really bring that message and, and share that message with the Chinese people and with the government because we feel really good about what we are doing and what we're bringing to market. And we want everybody to have a chance to enjoy and appreciate and live a better life. Java, yeah, Java is an island. But it's also a word that people use to refer to coffee. So some people like to call it Java, for example, because it's coffee. Um, we actually have a coffee company. It's called Java Lawn Coffee. Yes. yes. So our coffee is what's in the room. Um, yeah, we, I, I think we're pretty relevant. Um, this, for example, is our first espresso. So we started our coffee company first back in 2013. And we created the company because we were spending a lot of time on a little island called St. John. And we wanted to buy a business there. And we were looking for gaps in the marketplace. And the biggest gap we could find is the one that my wife had. She couldn't get a good cup of coffee. <laughs> so, That's a good basis for So we, we started a coffee cup. And we couldn't find beans. So we ended up learning how to source beans. We contracted with the third generation roaster in the Northeast of the US. Who do you sell to, essentially? We work with small, medium enterprises across the UK. Uh, developing as, them a as a uh, wholesaler and a white label supplier. Yeah. So we work with loads of different brands producing their CBD products for them. Mm -hmm. uh, currently, we uh, retail our coffee beans in our own retail outlet, which is a coffee shop, restaurant, and hotel uh, based in Colchester, uh, just outside London. Um, and this is where we do all of our market research. We test all of our products directly with the consumer in a working hospitality environment, which we think is really quite important. Currently, CBD-infused coffee is available across the UK, uh, but the predominant suppliers are using droppers or oil sprays to add to the coffee, whereas we've gone a step further and infused our beans directly with coffee, um, sorry, directly with CBD, uh, and in a way that it doesn't impact the taste and flavor. Uh, our beans are Rainforest Alliance, which is incredibly important to us, as well as education, wellness, and sustainability. 